I did, uh, oh, not to, I got to, this is why I have nothing to talk about. I already, I did Kevin and Bean this morning, and then I did fucking Mark Maron's What the Fuck podcast, WTF, over, uh, over his way, and uh, promoting the F is for family thing. I'm sorry, guys. Should I just hit fucking pause right now? Should I just hit pause and just fucking tank this entire podcast? I can't. I have to keep fucking going. Where the hell is my laptop? Is there anything to look up? The fuck did I do with my laptop? How do you lose a laptop? I just had the fucking thing. I swear to God, if I ever get Alzheimer's, I'm not, I'm not even going to fucking notice. Do you feel any different? No, I don't. Where are my keys? All right, here we go. Let's open up here. Let's get on the... Let's see if there's anything on the fucking... You know what? I'm literally going to hit pause. I got to look up a few things. This is, just, this, is not even, this is not even a podcast. This is just listening to somebody babbling. You know, like you're sitting in the fucking waiting room or something you don't want to go... Yeah, but we know. Go, go look something up. All right, hang on a second. Hang on. I forgot that I actually... I saw a movie. I saw a fucking feature starring Brad Pitt, uh, Steve Carell, the guy from Drive. What is his fucking name? He's in everything. Jake Gyllenhaal? No. Is it Jake Gyllenhaal? Miley Cyrus, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just saw the fucking movie. You know what it was? I didn't know it was him. He dyed his hair. And, and uh, Christian Bale. I saw that movie, The Big Short. And uh, a buddy of mine got a screener of it. And um, I was watching it with my wife. And uh, she kept whispering over to me, going, you're going to have to explain this. You're going to have to explain this. I don't know what it is. It was basically about the, uh, the all the shit that led up to the... Uh, the big fucking whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck happened in 2007. <laughs> it was uh, called a big short. It was basically these guys bet against the banks. They basically bet that what was going to happen in 2007 was going to happen. They did it in like 2005 and all the bankers were just like, what are you out of your fucking mind? That could never happen. You know, that's basically what it is. And um, I actually, by watching it, I ended up having a great conversation with my wife. Um, about that, because I remember when that whole housing market scandals and all that fucking subprime shit happened. Um, there was like two schools. There was either people that 100% blamed the bankers or people 100% blaming the fucking jerk offs that got houses. You know, like I remember this, the guy who lived like below me, right? This old fucking crazy guy. He blamed like people didn't have any money that got houses like he was flipping out going, those people had no business getting those houses they had no business getting those loans and i was just like well yeah that's 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 kind of what you have a loan officer for isn't it i mean anybody could walk into a bank and be like can i have a million dollars right you're you're totally within your right to fucking do it you just you don't give it to them You fucking do a little bit of research. But I, I, I'm one of those, I don't have any sympathy uh, for the bankers or for the fucking jerk-offs who fucking bought like a, a four-bedroom house and their mortgage was like 80 bucks. And they didn't read the fine print that like, you know, within whatever, seven months, it was then going to increase up to like fucking eight grand a month or something nuts. And they're like, oh, well, wait a minute, what happened? I'm shit out of luck. Yeah, you're a fucking dope. You know why I say that? Because I flunked everything in fucking, pretty much everything in high school. I sucked at fucking math. I had to go to summer school. Like, I should have gone every single year. I went after my freshman year, and I went after my junior year. My sophomore year, my teacher hooked me up and gave me the D minus. And my senior year, I didn't give a fuck because I had already screwed up for three years. Was I going to go to summer school and get into Brown? It wasn't happening. At that point, I was actually considering getting into construction. You know? I don't even know why, because I knew I was going to have to get a fucking job, and I didn't want to really have a boss. Like, I never wanted to have a job where, like, the boss was, like, fucking right there, or, or I had a place to be. Like, sit right here at your desk. You, you, you come in here by 8.30, and you stay put until lunchtime, right? And then you come back, you better be there by fucking whatever. What time is lunch? One to two? 201, the guy's fucking coming around. I didn't like that. So I always try. I worked in a little bit in construction. I worked in warehousing. You know, you just had to be in a general giant fucking area. You know, there's places to hide. <laughs> <laughs> 
not like I didn't do the job. I just didn't like people fucking, you know, I, I don't, I don't like people telling me what the fuck to do, you know? So, um, anyways, yeah. So by my senior year, I was like, I, you know, I don't, I don't give a fuck, but I, I sucked at math and I was able to figure out, um, mortgages enough to at least figure out how I was getting fucked and to reduce the fuck over as much as I could. And, um, the first time I, I went and I bought, I bought a, I bought a, that what was it a fucking 83 Ford Ranger for like three grand. I had like 500 bucks to my name or something. So I take all 500 bucks. I put it down in the fucking car or something like that. I can't remember the, the numbers and I took out a three year loan and I, it took me all three years. You know, I, I had like 36 payments and it took me 36 payments. I made all of them on time and the bank got 100% of the amount of interest that they wanted to get off a dope like me. The entire three years that I had the car loan, it never dawned on me to maybe not go out drinking fucking a bunch of beers that night and actually taking some of that money and throwing it at the principal of the loan. I didn't know that you could fucking do that. I had no idea. And I end up paying a ton of fucking money in interest. So fortunately, somebody talked to me about it, you know, when I went to go in to get a mortgage. And I still fucked up. When I first got a mortgage, I bought an apartment in New York. And uh, I bought something that I could afford. And I could, af- I could afford the mortgage payment plus a little bit more. So, what I, so the very first um, payment, I made the mortgage payment plus a little bit more. But the thing was, I, I didn't put it in on the, I didn't fill in the right area on the mortgage statement where it says, yeah, uh, basically mortgage. And then it says principal. I didn't know that the principal was the actual, like whatever, say I owed a hundred grand, you know, I didn't know that that was called the principal. I had no fucking idea. So I kept putting everything into the mortgage. So within like four months, you know, all of a sudden I didn't, I didn't get a statement for for the the fifth month so i was like what the fuck what the fuck i'm calling the bank going oh, I, didn't, I didn't get a statement oh what's what's going on oh, oh, what's, what's going on and they were like oh you're you're a month ahead on your payments and i go what do you mean i'm a month ahead i still owe you like a hundred grand it's like no blah 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 and by them talking to me i realized i went back to look at the statements i'm like wait a minute i've been paying like an extra 400 bucks uh a month here and none of it has come off the principal it's because I, I did i wasn't putting that towards the principal and that's when i figured out oh oh this is what i want to fucking do i want to pay the mortgage and then take the other money and put it at the fucking principal now a lot of you are rolling your fucking eyes but the amount of people that go in and get a fucking house and never realize that or realize that they that they front end load the fucking interest like even i think i think isn't it like if you if you uh even if you're 10 years into your mortgage at that point you've already given the bank 80 percent interest 80 percent of the interest that they're going to earn on the money that they loaned you because basically when you buy a house if you take 30 years to pay it off whatever you took out you're going to give the bank two and a half times that so just to make it easy if you took out 100 grand you're going to pay back two hundred fifty thousand dollars. all right now for as much as the banks are not fucking regulated for as much as they got the fucking houses back and they're going to do it all over again you know make complete fucking shitheads qualified for mortgages right as long as you if everybody if they could just educate everybody to that that whole fucking game then people wouldn't get suckered into those things and then banks could try to do whatever the fuck they wanted to do listen if you're a dope like me if you get a fucking mortgage like it, well, isn't there a lawyer there to walk you through it I remember when I closed I had a lawyer right at least I did in New York. I don't fuck. It. Look, all I'm saying is watch that movie and then don't get all free. Well, you should get freaked out because there's a bunch of mouth breathing fucking morons out there. Ah, Christ. Why did I watch that movie? It's so fucking depressing. Like, well, what am I going to do? My tells 50 people are going to do what I'm going to say right now. Nobody gives a fuck, right? You know, go out, you know, go out and put fifty dollars down on a million dollar house and enjoy it, and do some cannonballs into the fucking pool before they throw you out in eight months. That's what everybody's going to be doing again within three years. <laughs> do I ever have anything optimistic to say about the future? It's really ridiculous. You would, you would, you would think. 